What happens when we die? If you're religious, you go to heaven and you hang out with all your relatives. I can answer this as a physicist. We are warm-blooded creatures, which means my skin temperature is nearly 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And the room I'm in is not. The room I'm in is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So in Celsius, body temperature is like 37, but room temperature for you is like 20, 23 degrees. So you are maintaining a temperature difference every waking moment of your life. If you died, your body would cool to air temperature. That's why if you've ever touched a corpse in a casket, the first thing you notice, oh, it feels cold. No, it's actually air temperature. It feels cold compared to when you normally touch a human body. Why does the body temperature drop? Because you're no longer metabolizing energy. The only reason why we consume food, other than the nourishment, is to have energy to maintain this body temperature difference. Also, we have neurosynaptic activities in our brain, or thoughts, or consciousness. Let's say you die by a series of mini strokes. You know the person to whom this is happening, and bit by bit, their personality goes away. They lose their ability to recognize you. They don't know where they are. Their consciousness fades and you're witness to this. If you do a scan of their brain, you'll see parts of the brain shutting off because they're not activated by oxygen. That's what strokes do, of course. Then the person dies and the metabolism stops. You put them in the earth, the molecules still contain energy. And those molecules are dined upon by microorganisms in the earth. And you are given back to the ecosystem. You're given back to the circle of life. I choose to be buried for that reason. So when we die, I'm not given reason to think that your state of mind in death is any different from your state of mind before you were born.